Good morning, everybody. Welcome today to our Chick Quest Adventures, sponsored by GrowNextGen.org and Ohio Soybean Farmers. Today, we're going to learn more about chickens and the eggs and how a developing chick can hatch out of an egg in 21 days. Let's take a look here. What do you think that these developing chicks need in an egg and in their habitat to develop in 21 days time. Think about it. There's a lot that needs to go on inside of this egg. So what do hens naturally do in a chicken's life cycle to help this egg develop in 21 days? What do you need to develop? Think about what a habitat is. You've been home now for just a little while and I want you to think about what your habitat is that helps to keep you warm, and safe and developing as you grow. A habitat, remember, is a place where an animal lives. So what habitat do we need for these chicks for 21 days as they develop so that they can hatch out of their egg? What do you think an egg needs? Hmm, how do you make your habitat cozy and just right for you at home? Right now, I'm using my body heat to warm up the egg like a hen does. So one of the things we'll need to do in our classroom environment is to use technology to create a habitat that can support our chicks. Chickens have a body temperature of about 99 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. So the developing egg needs the same temperature as a hen nests on her eggs, she will allow her body heat to keep them warm. She will also allow the moisture from her body to come into the egg so that it doesn't dry out. Remember, inside of this egg is mostly liquid and some air and nutrients and a developing chick. So when we think about that and we think about our classroom environment, what do we need to do to help create a habitat that will be the best conditions possible for this developing chick. Let's take a look. Here is an incubator that I'm going to show you where there are some developing chicks right now. So as you look inside of this incubator, hopefully you see, if I can keep my hand still, some eggs. Those eggs are nestled on a yellow turner. And if you look carefully right here, you'll see that the humidity is around 60% and our temperature is close to 100 degrees Fahrenheit. This incubator is really cool because it will allow these eggs to continue to develop over time. As we talked about, we need to think really carefully about how we can use modern technology to help these four eggs develop. Not all eggs are gonna develop into a chicken, but some of them will. So let's think, what does that fertilized egg need to develop again? On a chart, as a scientist, you can keep data, and that data will help us to understand what a chick needs in its development. Right here, I have air temperature. Do you remember what temperature I said that the hen's body is that helps to keep her eggs warm as they develop? If you do, write it right here in your chart. Over here, we also have humidity. Humidity is the measure of moisture in our atmosphere. When it rains, there's a lot more moisture than there is when it's not raining. So what we need to do is to keep our eggs moist and hydrated, but it's a fine line. We don't want them to be so moist that they become saturated and disease prevails. So a hen typically has a moisture of around 60% level, so 60% humidity, that helps to keep the eggs from becoming too dry during development. What are some other things that a chicken needs as it develops? What about this? Can you hear this? This shell 
helps the eggs to develop. It keeps the developing chick inside safe because it's strong. It also allows the hen to turn the egg in development. Now see how I do this with these eggs? Why do you think it's important to turn an egg? As a chick is developing inside of this egg, it's really important that the hen turns the eggs several times a day. When she turns these eggs, the chick moves around inside so that not one part lays against the shell. If it lays against the shell, it might become deformed. So it's important for that chick as it develops to be turned several times a day. The incubator that you saw earlier has an egg turner inside that's automated. And so as scientists, what we do is we put an X on one side of the egg with a pencil and an O on the other side of the egg so that we can watch the incubator and the egg turner move the egg back and forth so that as the chick develops, it is developing properly and does not get stuck to the egg shell in the egg. So let's think of things that technology has done for us that have helped the chick to develop. The incubator keeps the egg warm at 99 and a half degrees Fahrenheit for 21 days. The incubator maintains humidity levels, so that means that the egg does not dry out. For the first 18 days of development, a chick needs 60% moisture. For the last three days, when it's getting ready to hatch out and the egg's moving around and it's kind of stretching around, it needs about 65% moisture. So we have to add a little more water to the incubator. It also maintains airflow throughout. So it's taking waste gases out of the incubator and bringing fresh air in for the developing chick. All of these things are awesome. Modern technology helps us as farmers in the United States to produce lots and lots of eggs. As a matter of fact, Ohio is the number two egg producer in the United States. So what that means is we're really, really good at egg production. I'm gonna show you in just a minute a couple of chicks so you can see how fast chickens can grow, okay? My family's helping me out here, so I'm waiting on them to bring me what we call a Cornish rock cross. Did you know that there are lots of different breeds of chickens? Thank you. This chick is two weeks old. Take a look at him. You see how this chick is developing? Look at the fuzzy feathers on his head. That means that these are downy feathers. They're not ready to keep themselves warm yet. So we still have to put him under a heat light so that he can stay warm and we help him to develop. Now, I'm gonna snuggle him close for a second, this chick, so you can see his feathers. He's two weeks old and he's starting to get feathers. When the chicken gets its own feathers, it can maintain its own body heat and would no longer need technology to help him. Now, look here at this egg. Do you see the size difference between two weeks ago and now? Chickens are wonderful creatures and they grow really, really fast. And this chicken within 18 to 20 weeks would be ready to lay an egg. Can you believe that? Gosh, these chickens are really developing quickly. So take one last look at this chicken. I'm gonna show them to you under our other camera so you can see him on the table. Look at this chicken, he is so big he doesn't even fit under the camera anymore. My goodness, how fast this chick has grown. I'm gonna show you right now another type of bird that people raise. This is called a guinea. And a guinea is kind of a more um, natural bird in that it's often found outside in the wild too. Look at the difference in the coloration. It's also two weeks old. When you look at the skinny, do you see any downy feathers on the top? Some of those are already starting to develop into um, regular feathers. Look here at its natural coloration. Look at these feathers as they are developing. This bird is naturally camouflaged so that when it's walking around outside, it is harder to see it. 
Do you see its face as it's moving up there? What's the difference between these birds? As scientists remember that this guinea can also be found on farms, just like regular chickens. But this guinea is really good at protecting us from ticks, some insects, and some other pests that we may not like as humans. So it's really good to remember some of the other breeds of birds out there that are still helpful on our farm. What's really interesting is that this skinny develops a little faster than that chicken that you saw. And it wouldn't take very long at all for this skinny to be on its own. Okay, let's review some of the things that we learned today. All chickens need a habitat to live and develop. When they're in their egg and they're in their 21 day life cycle to develop into a hatched chick, we need to make sure that either a hen is sitting on her eggs or we have put the eggs in an incubator. An incubator, remember, maintains the temperature of 99 and a half degrees and humidity level of 60% for the first 18 days and then 65 for the last three. It's important as a chick hatches out of its shell that the moisture is a little bit higher so that nothing gets stuck and the chick can come out. So that's why we increase the temperature. It also provides a safe habitat away from outside influences. It helps to prevent germs and other things from coming in contact with the eggs. And finally, it provides clean air inside and out. The other thing that we do, remember our X's and our O's, is we make sure that we turn the eggs so that as our chick is developing inside and consuming food, and growing and gets bigger, we make sure that it's not touching the side of the shell and doesn't get stuck. So let's think about tomorrow. So far, we've learned a lot. We've learned about how a habitat is really important for any developing organism, like a chick. Tomorrow, we're gonna go ahead and look at the inside of the egg. So what that means is we're gonna crack it open. And when we get it cracked open, we're gonna see what each part inside of the egg helps the developing chick as it grows and gets ready to hatch. Okay, thanks for seeing me today on GrowNextGen.org. Remember, the Ohio Soybean Council has helped to partner with this program. Be sure to visit GrowNextGen.org and see all the other great science resources that are available there. We'll see you soon, goodbye.